Have a nice day everyone. I am Alvin G. Venegas and today's video is all about Joseph Fourier. Joseph Fourier was a French mathematician born in Nagsir and best known for initiating the investigation of Fourier series, which eventually developed into Fourier analysis and harmonic analysis and their applications to problems of heat transfer and vibrations. His father is a tailor in Agsir. Joseph's mother died when he was 9 years old and his father died the following year. He established the partial differential equation governing heat diffusion and solved it by using infinite series of trigonometric functions. Partial differential equation is an equation containing an unknown function of two or more variables and its partial derivatives with respect to these variables. Joseph Fourier, in full, Jean Baptiste Joseph Baron Fourier, was born on March 21, 1768, in Axir, France, and died on May 16, 1830, in Paris. He is not only a mathematician, he is also a physicist and a historian. His first schooling was at Palia School, run by the music master from the cathedral. There, Joseph studied Latin and French and showed great promise. He proceeded in 1780 to the École Royale Militaire of Axir. At first, he showed talent for literature, but very soon, by the age of 13, mathematics became his real interest. In 1783, he received the first prize for his study of Bossuet mechanic in general. By the age of 14, he had completed a study of six volumes of Bossuet's Core de Mathematics. In 1787, Fourier decided to train for the priesthood and enter the Benedictine Abbey of St. Benoit Sir Lower. His interest in mathematics continued, however, and he corresponded with Bonard, the professor of mathematics at Axir. Fourier wants to ensure if he was making the right decision in training for the priesthood. He submitted a paper on algebra to Montocla in Paris, and his letters to Bonard suggest that he really wanted to make a major impact in mathematics. Fourier did not take his religious vow. Having left St. Benoit in 1789, he visited Paris and read a paper on algebraic equation at the Academy Royal des Sciences. In 1790, he became a teacher at the Benedictine College Ecole Royal Militaire of Axir where he had studied. Up until this time, there had been a conflict inside Fourier about whether he should follow a religious life or one of the mathematical research. In 1793, a third element was added to this conflict when he became involved in politics and joined the local revolutionary committee. Certainly, Fourier was unhappy about the terror which resulted from the French Revolution, and he attempted to resign from the committee. However, this proved impossible and Fourier was now firmly entangled with the revolution and unable to withdraw. The revolution was a complicated affair with many factions, with broadly similar aim, violently opposed to each other. Fourier defended members of one faction while in Orleans. In July 1794, he was arrested the charges relating to the Orleans incident and he was imprisoned. Fourier feared that he would go to the guillotine but after Robespierre himself went to the guillotine, political changes resulted in Fourier being freed. In 
In 1794, Fourier was nominated to study at the Ecole Normale in Paris. The school opened in January 1795 and Fourier was certainly the most able of the pupils whose abilities range widely. This in institute had been set up for training teachers and it was intended to serve as a model for other teacher training school. By September 1, 1795, Fourier was back teaching at the Ecole Polytechnique. In 1797, he succeeded Lagrange in being appointed to the Chair of Analysis and Mechanics. He was renowned as an outstanding lecturer, but he does not appear to have undertaken original research during this time. In 1798, Fourier joined Napoleon's army in its invasion of Egypt as scientific advisor. Monge and Malus were also part of the expeditionary force. Malta was occupied on June 10, 1798, Alexandria taken by storm on July 1, and the Delta of the Nile quickly taken. In Cairo, Fourier helped found the Cairo Institute and was one of the 12 members of the Mathematics Division. The others included Monge, Malos, and Napoleon. Napoleon abandoned his army and returned to Paris in 1799. He soon held absolute power in France. Fourier returned to France in 1801 with the remains of the expeditionary force and resumed his post as professor of analysis at the Ecole Polytechnique. Fourier was not happy at the prospect of learning the academic world but could not refuse Napoleon's request. It was during his time in Grenoble that Fourier did his important mathematical work on the theory of heat. His work on the topic began around 1804 and by 1807 he had completed his important memoir on the propagation of heat in solid bodies. The memoir was read to the Paris Institute on December 21, 1807. There were two reasons for the committee to feel unhappy with the work. The first objection made by Lagrange and Laplace in 1808 was the Fourier's expansion of functions as trigonometrical series, what we call now Fourier series. Further clarification by Fourier still failed to convince them. The second objection was made by Bayot against Fourier's derivation of the equation of transfer of heat. Fourier had not made reference to Bayot's 1804 paper on this topic but Bayot's paper is certainly incorrect. Laplace and later Poisson had similar objection. In 1822, Delambre, who was the secretary of the mathematical section of the Academy of the Sciences, died and Fourier, together with Bayot and Arago, applied for the post. After Arago withdrew, the election gave Fourier an easy win. After Fourier became secretary, the Academy published his prize-winning essay, Theory Analytic de La Chelure, in 1822.
During Fourier's eight plus years in Paris, he resumed his mathematical researches and published a number of papers, some in pure mathematics while some were on applied mathematical topics. Fourier continued to publish papers on mathematics until his death in 1830 when he dripped and fell down the stairs at home. His tomb is in the Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, decorated with an Egyptian motif in honor of his position as secretary of the Cairo Institute. And that's the end of my video presentation. Thank you for watching.